You're listening to Consulting Logistics, presented by Aborning Company. I'm your host, Kyle McNaught. Thanks for checking us out. Today's episode is going to be a little relaxed. Um, we don't have a guest today. There's not a subject I'm deep diving into. It's more about kind of what, what else we're putting out there. Uh, recently we've been really stepping up our game in terms of different types of content that I think you as a listener or viewer of consulting logistics really would enjoy. So I just wanted to shed some light on that and talk about it. And the first thing that I'm really, really loving is our whiteboard series. Jill Clifford, a regular guest on this show, uh, also a host who got a ton of love the last time she hosted, I think it was like two episodes back. Uh, Awesome person, love Jill. She's the president of Aborn and Company, and just an overall really sweet individual who takes the time out of her day and helps out with everything. Well, she's been really helping me out lately with this whiteboard series. And what this is is Jill sits in front of a whiteboard. I give her basically one sentence. I'm like, "What is this?" And then she goes deep into it. And it's really cool because she's doing it with her own kind of spin on things. So, so far we've wrapped up a whole series on LTL, so less than truckload, where she not only explains what it is and how it kind of works, how that mode works, which is something that's super fascinating. Um, but also the pricing, the explaining stuff like base rate and how that's kind of confusing in LTL, accessorials, and even just like some of the f different charges that occur in that stuff. And she currently is working on a one on truckload right now. So what I'm going to do right now is actually play the truckload one. So she's done an overview of truckload, but she's also done pricing, uh, explaining sort of how that all breaks down and some accessorials. So here is her explaining how truckload works. Well, hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the mode of truckload, um, specifically over the road, full truckload transportation. And so what is full truckload? Full truckload is I'm going to show up at a shipper's dock. I'm a driver with a trailer and I'm, uh, the shipper is going to fill that trailer with freight. I'm going to drive that freight straight through and I'm going to deliver it to its final destination. So unlike LTL, which is less than truckload, less than truckload moves at different spots. There's local drivers, there's line haul, line haul drivers, there's other local drivers on the other end. And the full truckload mode, if uh, Kyle is the driver at pickup, Kyle's going to be the driver at delivery too. Um, so as we get into this, I thought it'd be really good to cover the types of equipment in the truckload mode. Now there are 19 of them and we're not going to cover them all, but important just to give you a high level understanding. So typical full truckload is you have a dry van, right? A dry van is a full 48 or 53 foot trailer. It's covered at all sides, hooks up to a tractor. Um, you know, so just a regular trailer. And then the other type of equipment you can have is refrigerated equipment. So if you're shipping, there's certain medical supplies and drugs and maybe some chemicals, obviously food, uh, that ships in a refrigerated environment. And how to think about that, that trailer essentially looks exactly like a dry van. It's 48 or 53 feet, but it's gonna have a reefer unit on it. And the reefer unit is usually between the tractor and the trailer, and it's running here. And that reefer unit can be plugged in as well in, um, into the trailer to keep it at a certain temperature. Really the only difference between the two, um, the size of that trailer is sometimes on a reefer trailer, it has rounded corners. And so you're losing a little bit of space within the trailer. Um, so that's refrigerated. Then there's specialty. So if you've ever seen those really large and they're round trailers. These are carrying liquid bulk. And as a driver, you actually have to have a special permit to carry liquid bulk um, because these can weigh up to 200,000 pounds. So this would be liquid in the, and it's a round trailer. It's got a pump on it that when it gets to delivery or pickup, you're hooking a pump up, the liquid's coming into the container, driver's leaving, delivering, same process on the other end. Again, because it can be up to 200,000 pounds, you're gonna need a, a driver with a special permit to run it. In there is also hazardous materials, right? So diesel, oil, uh, flammable products. Again, hazardous materials comes with its own set of rules. Um, there's placarding that needs to be on the trailer to identify exactly what the hazardous material is. And there's hazardous material trainings that the drivers will need to go through. 
The other mode that you'll see a lot is uh, flatbeds. Now flatbeds, why use a flatbed? So a flatbed is not a covered trailer. It's simply just what it sounds like. Just a flat trailer with no sides, no roof. Well, why is that? So flatbeds are used because you can offload and onload a, a flatbed product from any side, from the front or back of the trailer, or from the sides. You typically see front and back, maybe you're unloading it with a crane, maybe you have lumber, uh, you have steel coils, or you can use a forklift where you can unload from either side of it. Um, and within flatbeds, there's a bunch of different kinds. So you can have an extendable flatbed. The, the best way for me to explain this is think about a dining room table that has a leaf in the middle. This is gonna do the same thing. It can separate, there's, a, there's an additional extension underneath the flatbed. When you, you extend it out, you're gonna get longer length. There's also a step deck and it sounds just like it is. It's a step deck, so it has two floors sometimes, up and down. One thing about the step deck people do, uh, they use it for is it is a little bit lower to the ground. So you can, that second deck that's lower to the ground, you can have higher, uh, higher heighted product versus a standard flatbed. So it just gives you more height. Low boy, almost like it looks like a step deck, but it, this has two axles, so you can cover uh, almost 80,000 pounds. You're gonna see low boys when you see, um, you know, flatbeds when they have a bulldozer on it or excavation equipment. Within that too, it's called an RGN. And an RGN is a re removable gooseneck. So let's say this is attached to the tractor. What an RGN allows you to do is it's taking the actual uh, step deck or flatbed off of its tractor and putting it on the ground. So now you're lower to the ground for offloading that product. And again, think about bulldozers, excavation equipment. That's usually what you're gonna see on a step deck. Um, the Conestoga too, as well, that's also a type of flatbed. Um, but let's say you have long lumber or you have long steel coils, you need the flatbed, but you still want coverage of a trailer. So you want the product covered. That's where you're gonna use the Conestoga. And what that is, it's literally a, a removable tarp that kind of just, and it's on um, rollers and it rolls out and you adhere it to each side and it becomes an enclosed trailer. So that's what a Conestoga is. The only other thing you also might see is you may ship your freight in a standard dry trailer, 53 footer, but you need blankets or to protect the freight. Maybe it's got its furniture with glass or you need straps and load bars. Um, so what are straps and load bars? So within the trailer, say this is the inside of the trailer, there's hardware on either side of it where you're, you're nervous that your freight could potentially shift. Um, and so what you wanna have the ability to do is they load a full load of freight and maybe they do it in sections just to protect the freight against itself, right? So maybe we wanna have two sections where we have straps and load bars. So you're, you're literally almost like a bungee cord you would put in the back of a pickup truck. I don't know, I use one to hold my paddleboard so it doesn't blow away, but it's, it's, it's that kind of idea. So this is gonna be a strap that's gonna come here. And that's kind of the strapping and the low bars. Sometimes it's a bar, sometimes it's a strap. The other thing you may want is decking. So your freight is not stackable. However, you've got good sized pallets where you could actually utilize the full height of that trailer. And so you're gonna ask them to add a, basically a floor. So they're gonna put a wood floor in here and that's gonna give you the ability to put pallets on top of the, of the floor and pallets underneath. Um, and that's gonna give you better utilization of the, of the equipment. It's important to understand in truckload these different types of trailers because these different types of trailers will absolutely dictate cost. Um, the other thing in truckload that you want to understand is mileage. How many miles are you going to be traveling and how fast do you need the freight? So consider that based on the driving rules today. If you're a driver and you're in the U.S., you have a 14-hour shift. 
within that 14 hours, you can legally only drive for 10 of them. And then you have to rest for 10 hours. And then you have another 14 hour on duty ship, shift where you're only driving for 10. So let's say you need to get from one side of the country to the other and you need faster service. Well, then you can use what's called team drivers. And those are two drivers. They each have their own logging systems, meaning, you know, used to be carriers would have uh, books and they would just log their hours and they would get checked every now and then at truck stops to make sure that they weren't driving too long and they were resting enough. Well, now they have to record it in an ELD system. So you have two uh, legal drivers in the truck. So imagine one's, one's doing their 14 hour shift and the other one's resting for the 10 and then they switch. And so what it allows you to do is get faster transit. So if you're in longer lengths of hauls for truckload and you want to um, have faster service, then you want to look at team drivers. Um, so things to be mindful of, because I think next up after this, we'll start talking about how to negotiate truckload. Uh, the one thing you need to remember in the truckload mode, unlike other modes who they price in the labor, the wait times, all that, uh, in the truckload mode, drivers get paid to drive. And so if they have to do any more than that, um, you need to make sure you spell that out for the drivers so that you get the service that you need. So I hope this was useful. Um, again, this is kind of what you see in the truckload modes and what typical trailers look like. So yeah, that's one of those really cool series we're doing. And if you are a listener to Consulting Logistics and you actually don't watch it, you're missing out, uh, especially on that last clip because Jill illustrates. She's drawing. Uh, I helped out a little bit, so if you really want to see bad art, go check it out. Uh, but Jill really illustrates and explains in a way that I really never heard how these modes work. Uh, and the best part is you as a listener can always get back to us and tell us what we should talk about next. I'm really trying to make this one the simple, simple kind of thing. So like, how does truckload work? How does less than truckload work? Those types of questions. I mean, what's a lane, right? Those things that you hear a lot in logistics and transportation. I'm trying to find those and have Jill just sort of explain it. Jill has over 30 years of experience. So having someone with that breadth of knowledge, be able to explain stuff. And the way Jill does it, which just makes it simple. You don't feel dumb. You don't feel like, oh my gosh, why don't I know this stuff? Jill does a really, really great job of explaining these things. So that's why Jill's a rock star. That's why Jill should get all the love. And if you guys aren't friends with her or aren't connected with her on LinkedIn, you absolutely need to. Again, I'll put links to that in the show notes. But yes, our whiteboard series, it's weekly. It's on YouTube. Around every Thursday, every Wednesday or Thursday. It's one of those, as soon as we can kind of get in a rhythm, that'd be great. Uh, but it's also fun having uh, the Corona World experience because I'm not in the office a lot, as you can tell with consulting logistics. I'm in my house. Uh, so getting into the office with Jill has been a fun time. Um, safe, we're also safe. <laughs> but yeah, so. Check it out, uh, Aborn and Company on YouTube. I know I say it at the end of the episode every single time, but I really want you guys to go sit there and watch it uh, and share it. I mean, that's really the big thing. What else do we have on the docket? Well, the really cool thing that hopefully you're a live listener or if you are kind of one of our loyal listeners that subscribed, you're really going to enjoy this. We're doing a webinar, uh, which is going to include Jill and me and Chris Peckham, another Aborn company employee slash regular on consulting logistics, talking about chargebacks. If you work in the food industry and the beverage industry, you have to hate chargebacks. Most of us do. Uh, everything that <laughs> kind of gets explained about it, you're just like, how is this legal? Well, it gets even worse when the chargebacks are somehow related to coronavirus. Like, how are you gonna charge for a global pandemic? Why is this my fault? This is the industry, this is the world we're living in, and you're gonna try to make a profit off of this? Yeah, it is disgusting, but we're there for you. Uh, a lot of what we're gonna talk about uh, for this thing, and what this thing that I haven't announced yet, is a webinar. We're gonna have a webinar uh, on chargebacks and how to fight them. So fighting chargebacks related to coronavirus is this upcoming webinar we have on July 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. To register for that, go to aborningcode.com slash webinar. This is gonna be a really, really, really interesting webinar. 
because uh, you just you're gonna hear a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, Jill's really been fighting that day in day out. Um, it's kind of what she's doing right now for us at Avorn. So it's something you're gonna hear kind of interesting takes on. It's sort of how do you get ahead of it? So you don't need to just be a food and beverage shipper. Any shipper that's dealing with stuff like detention, these weird fees that you kind of get within the whole logistics freight world, um, especially as every one of us needs to pay attention more and more to our budget, uh, just due to, unfortunately, the, the world, the new normal we have, this is something you're going to want to attend uh, because you're going to get an opportunity to talk with Jill, to ask questions of Jill. And if you know Jill, if you've been listening to Jill, she really will deep dive. She will go into your comment, into your question, and really help. And if she can't help right at that moment, she's going to research the heck out of it and find a way to help you out. So it's something that you really, really, really should register for. You go to aborningcode.com slash webinar. Very simple. It's about an hour long Thursday afternoon. Um, summertime, right? So most of us kind of Thursday afternoon is a good sort of checking out time. Something fun to check into uh, and just talk, hear from what other shippers are experiencing. That's sort of the big thing, right? You always feel like you're alone in this world when it comes to shipping. Uh, it can feel struggle. You, you, how do you kind of connect with individuals, especially in coronavirus, right? You don't get to get out there and interact with shippers like you used to. You get to interact with colleagues and peers like you used to. So this is one opportunity. It's a little virtual thing. Uh, there's going to be video, so you'll, there's a real good reason to join in. You're going to see Jill. you probably see me probably in this location because this is where I am. Uh, and yeah, you're just going to kind of get to check out and learn. So that webinar, again, Thursday, July 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern time, abornandco.com slash webinar. The only other thing I want to tell you guys about is our newsletter um, and some cool things that we're adding to that. In addition to the whiteboard videos and then promotion for stuff that were coming, upcoming things like white papers that we're working on for small package and a fun old like reopening guideline. If you're, if you still haven't even reopened, if you're in one of the states that had to shut down and then has to remember how to reopen, we got all that stuff in our newsletter, but we're also having our summer intern, uh, Haley Mason, really great kid, but like, I don't want to say kid, but she's, she's an awesome intern, super cool, really go getter. And the funnest part, the cool, interesting part was she's not really in logistics. So you're having someone who is you is a youth, uh, is a youth, that sounds so old with that. She's young, um, but she's diving into this world that we live in, right? And she's really kind of going in there all in. She's gathering articles that she finds interesting. She's learning. It's kind of a cool thing to see what she's doing. And one of the things I really uh, have her do, or the one of the things that I kind of pushed her to do, was a blog post. So every Wednesday she puts sort of she puts out a blog post that's sort of summarizing one story. And if you're just interested in sort of what what the next generation thinks of, what they're kind of interested in, where they find something that try, kind of grabs their attention, this blog post is a really cool thing to check out. Now, give it to like, you're gonna want to. Haley is an intern, so she's kind of learning as she goes. But it's something so cool. And honestly, if you just want to support. That's one of the best ways you can check out our newsletter. She's also curating that. She's the one who kind of reaches out to our experts. So she's doing a really good job going out to all that stuff. So this podcast is more or less turning into me just really saying how much I appreciate Jill and Haley. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate every SME, every subject matter expert that comes on the show. They're so great. They take the time out of their day and they really help. Um, I mean, I feel light years ahead. I believe it or not started the logistics world a year ago this time. And I feel so much more knowledgeable. Uh, there's so much I don't know, but in terms of understanding every day, I get a little bit more. So that's all to you guys. You guys have been reaching out to me. People are helping me go along in this little freight journey I've been on. So thanks to everyone who's checked out consulting logistics, who's registered for our newsletter, who's registered for the webinar, who's even just connected with me on LinkedIn and said, Hey, like what you're doing. It's been awesome. Uh, on the docket coming up, 
we have a couple really, really cool interviews. I've been kind of working. That's sort of what my life is right now. Just reading up, trying to get these different uh, guests on the show. So we're gonna have a really kind of cool thing hitting us for August and September as we start to hit the fall. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't stay as hot as it does right now. In New England, it is sweltering. Squ- uh, tried to do a run today and I was dying. So yeah. Tons of cool things on the docket. Uh, Definitely, definitely, definitely share this podcast with your friends. Tell them about it. Let them know what we're doing out there. Register for our webinars. Go to our YouTube channel. Watch our stuff. And let me know what you think. And also interact. It's not me talking to you. It's an interaction. I want it to be back and forth. So if you connect with me on LinkedIn, I'm going to talk to you. Um, if you say you listen to the show, I'm most likely going to ask if you want to come on the show. Uh, because every one of us, it's, it's about connected and shared experiences. It's not about, look at me, I'm sitting in this ivory tower and I see everything. No, I think everyone has a fascinating experience within supply chain, logistics, transportation, freight. And I think that all of us talking it through and just saying out loud what, what we're experiencing really helps out everyone. That goes for education, that goes for resources, that goes for everything. So reach out to me on LinkedIn. That's probably the best place or email. Email is kyle at aborninco.com. LinkedIn is just in slash or linkedin.com slash in slash Kyle McNaught, one word. Also, just check out the show notes. I put all the links down there. So really fun place to check it out. In the meantime, I'm Kyle McNaught. Thanks for listening to Consultant Logistics. Rock and roll.